sealed with your spirit and we believe that you covered us with the shadow of your hands continue to bless Dorian Church all pastors and members of this ministry discover me at your back to reveal only your glory we thank you Lord we glorify your name in the highest praises and adoration in Jesus name we pray Amen so Zechariah began his prophecy with a call to repentance and a call that remembered the poor spiritual heritage of Israel and Judah. So the sin of their fathers doomed the nation to exile and Zechariah warned the people to remember that the same could happen to them. So it says in verse 3, Therefore say to the people, This is what the Lord of heaven army says, Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Amen? So church, there are three things that God will do to us in this season today. God has taken the initiative to bless us. Hallelujah! Amen. So what I, I'm, I, I'm seeing in 2022 is cancellation of deaths. Cancellation of deaths is going to happen in us, to everyone, to each and every one of us. Amen? So there are three things that are going to happen in your life. First, reposition. So meaning, repositioning, to change the positions, revision, re reposition in our part. Amen? Sabi sa Sekariah 1.3, Therefore, say to the people, Ano sabi niya? Yay! So verse 3. <coughs> Therefore, Amen. let us read. Therefore, say to the people, this is what the Lord of heaven's army says. Return to me and I will return to you, say to the Lord of heaven's army. Amen. So you must be wondering how to reposition yourself. So there's only one way to reposition, meaning return to the Lord. Return to your first love. Return to the Lord. Amen. So what is God's promise? The God who fights in our battles. Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of heaven's armies. So the word turn is related to the people. It signifies that they should change their corrupt manners and turn to God in newness of life. And by God's turning to them, meaning that He would take them again into His favor and perform for them acts of manifest kindness instead of displeasure. So before pandemic until this time, many suffered to different consequences in many challenges, right? Some are running after to the companies because of job. Some are running after to friends and brethren. Where can I get my help? So who's going to fight for me? Who's going to help me? Who's going to intervene for me? Who's going to intercede for me? And the Lord heard your cry and He said, Come to me. Come back to me. Return to me, people of Lorian, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. Amen? Amen. Sabi niya, return to me and I will rescue you. So do you believe that word is, the word is active and alive? Amen. So this is his personal message to each and every one of you here in the church of Lorian. Amen? So repositioning means a call to repentance. Ano sabi sa Joel 2, 12 to 13? This is why the Lord says, This is why the Lord says, Turn to me now, now is the first time. Give me your hearts, come with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Don't care, don't sing your grief, but let your hearts be saved. Amen. Sabi niya, return to the Lord your God he, for He is merciful and compassionate, to, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. So He is eager and, to relent and not to punish. Amen? So God is telling to people to turn to Him while He's still there, while there is time because destruction 
would soon come upon them. So time is also running out, so we do not know what will happen next. We do not know what will happen tomorrow. So we should trust and obey God while we can. Amen? So don't let anything hinder you from turning Him because God didn't want an outward display of penitence without true re inward repentance. So make sure that your attitude towards God is correct, not just your outward actions. Because God is eager to bless you, but in order to be blessed, we need to reposition ourselves. Amen. We need to reposition ourselves. Amen? Amen? And the place of repositioning is with God. He said, come back to me and I will return to you. Amen? And when you come back to me, I will fight for your battles. Because your battle will no longer your battle, but it will become my battle. Amen? That is why release your battle to God unconditionally to ease your pain. God's call for repentance, the only hope for the future. The only hope for your future. So the people were commanded to serve the Lord with all of their heart and soul. Because God called on the people for fasting and weeping and mourning. So the purpose of fasting is to deny the flesh, not just the food, but all the cravings of the flesh. Fasting, weeping, and mourning represents real de desperation before God. Amen? So sabi niya, rend your hearts and not your garments. Amen? Because God is saying He wants a broken heart more than your torn clothes. Your heavenly Father is willing to help His children to come to Him with broken hearts. Amen? Because God is gracious and this is a part of His character that He is declared and manifested throughout the Scriptures. Because the Bible tells us that He delights to give good gifts to His children. So he, received, he, he receives pleasure doing special things for His children. So how often we bless and surprise by the grace of God? Because God, He is a merciful God. Amen? Amen? He is slow to anger, He is patient, and gives every opportunity to those who repent. So if you do not repent with your sin, you cannot escape the judgment of God. Because nothing ventured, nothing gained. So let's seek the Lord with all our hearts. Amen? Amen. Sabi nga, fast and pray because people should turn to God. So that we can be spared from plagues for God is gracious and loving. Amen? Amen. So this morning, make a choice to reposition yourself because this is a personal choice to reposition and be ready to receive the blessings from the Lord. Amen? Amen. So some of you, you need to make U-turn. Some needs to change the direction. So Lord, we are going to return back to you with all our souls, with all our minds, and with all our strength, we worship you. Amen? Hallelujah! Amen. Sabi sa Sekariah 1.3, sinabi niya ulit, Therefore, say to the people, anong sabi niya? This is what the Lord of Heaven's army said, Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. Return to me, sabi niya, this is a call. The Lord of hosts, the Lord of Heaven's armies is offering to fight for all your battles in life. Amen? Amen. If you give it to Him, He will fight for your battles. How? Just surrender yourself and your battle to the Lord. Amen? For He is our refuge, the rock of salvation. He is our defender. He is faithful. He is eternal. Amen? He is a forgiving God because He is gracious. He is holy. He is loving. He is righteous. He is unchangeable, wonderful, indescribable. Amen? Hallelujah! He is a merciful God. He will restore what you have lost, whether it is relationship, job, your finances, your business, your health, 
your marriage and whatever the devil has taken from you, the Lord is ready to return it to you Amen. in hundredfolds. Amen? Amen? He is willing to fight for you and bless you. Amen? He will do the impossible and make it possible in your life. Why? Because He is willing to bless you ex exceedingly, abundantly, which you can never, never or imagine in your life. He is willing to heal you. He is willing to hold what you, what you have given to you to see you through in your situations because greater is He who loves you than the one who lives in this world. Amen? Hallelujah! If God is with us, who can be against us? Amen? So when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Amen? So choose to believe in all knowing God because when you when he heard his voice, when he heard your voice, and you choose to believe, you will never, ever be disappointed. Amen? Amen. So there's always hope in the Lord because he will never put you to shame. Just believe in his word. Amen? Because all his promises are yes and amen. amen. Woo! amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is always higher than your situations in life. Above all, he is all in all. Amen. So you don't need to go to mountains just to ask and pray. It is simply believe and it will be yours. So sometimes we feel it is hard. It is not just easy. But when you know God, whom you serve, nothing is in vain. Amen. Because with God, all things are possible. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you know his character, when you know him, when you know his characteristics, when you have intimate relationship with him, you, then you are more than blessed in all aspects of your life. Amen? Because when God chooses to bless you, no one can hinder it. Amen? You know what is repositioning mean? Only one thing, humility. Amen? Humility. When you are humble, it is easy to connect with the Lord. Because when you want God to work in your life, no one, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God can prepare for those who love Him. Amen? Amen. So to those who love Jesus, obey His commands. So church, are you willing to reposition yourself? Amen. 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 So you need to do these things first. First, get right with God. Reconcile with your own family. So if you have dispute within the members of your family, so make sure to reconcile with them. Amen? Next is reconcile yourself in the family of God. Restore your relationship with our brethren, with our brothers and sisters in Christ, and to all members inside the church. Amen? Sabi nga, wag nang ipagpabukas yung mga tampuhan. Sabi, tuldo ka na yan. Amen? Para we receive lahat ng pagpapala. Amen? Hallelujah! So why? When you are not in good terms with anyone, it hinders your blessing. Amen? It hinders your blessing. So should be no barriers between your brothers and sisters in Christ. No fighting, no quarrel in your heart, especially inside the church. Amen? Forgive your enemy, your colleagues, your neighbor, your brethren from the family and others. So that others should see that the glory of God is in you. Amen? So ask repentance from the Holy Spirit. So that you will be realigned with God. Amen? Because next to humility is trust. So when you trust God and surrender to Him your battles, so ask the Holy Spirit to help you to become humble. Because the Holy Spirit is your guide to help you to stay in position. Amen? Amen? God's calling is to repent, turn away, and come to me. And, and what is His promise? Sabi niya, I will come back to you. I will fight for you. I will win your battles. I will give your job. I will give what you need. I will give your houses which you did not build. Amen? Amen. And, and uh, the house in this land 
which is waiting for you. Because if you lost your house, the Lord will return to you beautiful houses here Amen. and in your country. Amen. Hallelujah. So to those who have here, let them hear and receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sabi niya, walk into it and glorify the Lord your God in this church. Amen. Amen. So Lorian, glorify the Lord your God. Amen. Amen. He will provide for you supernaturally. God says He will provide. Kapag sinabi niyang He will provide, He will provide. Amen. Jehovah Jireh is going to provide to all of you. Amen. Amen. So how you will remain in reposition? Humility and trust with the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Next, Joel restoration in Joel 2, 23. Can we read? Amen. So, so sabi niya, be glad and rejoice in the Lord your God. All things has been restored for your sake. You must rejoice in the Lord our God. Then what it says, the threshing floors will again be piled up high with green and the presses will overflow with new wines and olive oil. So it's seen in the spirit that some of you have drained and an empty canister in the kitchen. Some experience being jobless. Some have empty jars, empty refrigerator, empty wallet, bag is empty, no card is empty, exhausted because of trials, problems, and emptiness. But God is saying, trashing floors will again be piled up. Amen? So ano ibig sabihin ng pile? You, what is pile means? Sabi niya, overflow, overflowing with great measures. Amen? Amen? And the presses will overflow with new wine and olive oil. Amen? Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Sabi niya sa Joel 2.25, Amen. It's very clear, sabi niya, the Lord says, I will give you back what you have lost. Amen. So what did you lose? Did the devil took something from you? The Lord says, I will give it back to you. Amen. Amen. Lahat ng mga nawala sa iyo, ibabalik niya ng siksik, liglig at kumaapaw. So sabi niya, it was I who sent this great destroying army against you. Why? So that you will come back to me and reposition yourself. So God promised He would prevent or, or remedy that evil for He would restore the years that the locust Cantor worm, caterpillar, and palmer worm had eaten. God says, I will restore your fortune. I will restore your land, your gardens, your job, your finances, your businesses. This is the time to start again with new businesses. Amen? Amen. Sabi niya, do not be afraid because there is no fear in his kingdom. Amen? Amen. From luck, you will become plenty. From luck, you will have leftovers. Amen? You will not only have for you, you, it will also have your family and you will have access to share with others. Amen? Because this is what the Lord is telling to Lurian Church. He just wanted you to believe by faith and God is able to do it. Amen? Amen. Sabi niya, no more barren wombs, no more barren wallets, Amen. no more cases, and no more deaths. Amen? Amen. It's restoration time. Amen. Believe and receive it. Amen? Hallelujah! Amen. Sabi niya sa Joel 2.26, <laughs> Amen. Sabi niya, never again will my people be disgraced. 
There is plenty of spiritual provisions held forth under the gospel dispensation. Much in God, in His goodness, in His grace, in His love, truth, and faithfulness. Amen? So in His covenant, the blessings and promises it much in Christ. Who is compared to many things eatable is called the Lamb of God, the fatted calf the hidden manna, the tree of life, and the bread of God. So everything in him that belongs to him is food for faith. His flesh is meat indeed, so his blood is drink indeed, the fullness of grace in him. Amen! Hallelujah! So there will be outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The former rain represents the outpouring of the Pentecost. And the latter rain is when you share the word, there will be outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So many will bring souls in the kingdom because God's Spirit is available to anyone who calls on the Lord for salvation. So during your restoration, your shame will wipe away. Amen? You will have the food you want. You will be eat and be satisfied. You will be contented. You will be faithful in worship. You will be faithful in giving. Amen? Amen. Asabi sa Joel 2.27 then they will know that I am among my people Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. Never again will my people be disgraced. You will never be disgraced again. So people of Lurian, you will never be disgraced again because God is replacing shame with your honor. Never again my people will be disgraced. Pangako ng Diyos. Those people who truly repented will avoid disaster. Amen? Because God's blessings are promised to those who sincerely and consistently follow Him. Amen? Sa so Amos 9.13 so the time will come says the lord when the green and grapes will grow faster than they they can be harvested meaning before finishing your planting there will be plenty for harvest so much harvest for the vineyard. Amen? So when the grain and grapes will grow faster than they can be harvested, so meaning before you collect, before you collect your harvest, you will see a lot, many for harvest. Meaning, you have nothing to do just to keep harvesting and harvesting and harvesting. Harvesting in souls, harvesting in your income, harvesting your salaries, Harvesting your dreams, harvesting God's promises to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kita niyo si Pastor Jan, harvest ng harvest ng salary. Ayun no. Ayun no. Ayun ayun no. Ako ba yun? So in short, no one will become poor in Lorian. Amen. Everyone is harvesting their own crops, their own blessings and breakthrough. Amen. Hallelujah. So church, I'm so excited to harvest my own. What about you? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's a Amos 9.14. Amen. So they will plant vineyards and gardens. They will eat their crops and drink their wine. So the Lord is saying, you will plant vineyards, you will eat, meaning you will have enough for you, plus you can also give to others. Amen? Sabi, walang magugutom sa Lurian Church. Amen? No one will ever be hungry in Lurian. You will be never hungry or thirsty anymore. Because from lack to plenty, from rugs to many, and from poverty to excess. Amen? Hallelujah! Sa so, Hosea 6.11, also, for you to know that I have harvested for you appointed. Whenever I was in charge of my people, 
Ano? Amen. Sabi niya, also for you, Judah, and also for you, Lurian. Amen. A harvest is appointed in your life. Because God has appointed a harvest in your life. There's a harvest coming. He sets you free from captivity. He has called you to reposition so that you will restore and experience the goodness of God. Amen? Amen. Anong sabis ng, ng Lord sa Jeremiah 32:27? This is Lord's promise. God's promise. I am the Lord God, all the peoples of the world. Is this anything too hard for me? Amen. So the Lord is asking you, Church Lurian, I am I am God. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Because God is talking to you personally. I am your God. I will take care of you. I will bless you. I will restore your fortunes. So even in the most barren areas of your lives are beyond God's healing touch. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? There's, a, there's an appointed time for you, the new season in your life. Receive what God has for you and walk by faith. Remember your position always. Amen? Amen? Because God gave us one heart toward Him. So we must develop such singleness of heart and action to love God above anything else. Amen? Amen. So that you will enjoy great restoration and great peace, great joy upon your life. Amen? Amen. So number 6, 24 to 26. Amen. So a blessing was one way of asking for God's divine favor to rest upon others. So there are five parts conveyed hope that God will do. Amen. So when you ask God to bless others or yourself, you are asking Him to do these five five things. So the blessings you offer will not only help the one receiving it, but also demonstrate love and courage others and provide a model of caring for others. Amen? Amen. Finally, God is giving you double blessings. Amen? Amen. In Zechariah 9.12. So church, this is God's promise. What does it mean? For every single trouble that you experience, you will receive double blessings from God. Amen. Hallelujah. Sabi niya, come back to the place of safety. Saan yun? Sa house of God. Amen. Come back to God. Amen. Amen. Please read. Come back, Come back, back to the place of safety. God, the house of God, church, have hope, one trouble, two blessings from God. Amen. Imagine one trouble, He will return to you two blessings, equivalent to two blessings. Amen. If you have ten troubles, you will receive twenty blessings from the Lord. Amen. So church, look up, your breakthrough is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is, these are the words of the Lord for you today. God bless everyone. Shalom. Shalom. Amen. Let us pray, I beg you that we are fully redeemed and restored. May we continue to walk in love, in purity and peace. Let your name be glorified in heaven and earth. We thank you that Lorian are truly blessed. Thank you for the life of all the pastors, leaders and members of this church. Continue to bless us spiritually, materially, physically, emotionally and financially. We humbly receive the gifts you have given us knowing that you are the giver of all good things. Amen. Thank you for your love and grace to those who are in the ministries and praying that others will join too, especially in music. We need instrumentalists. 
We need in media, evangelist, and in kitchen ministry. So extend your hand to those who are searching for jobs and to receive healing to those who are sick and in pain. Amen. So for all the blessings and for the unity of Lorian, we want to give you all the praises and adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So God bless you all. Shall the Lord. to the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 12 says now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church the apostles the prophets the evangelists the pastors and teachers their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and build up the church the body of Christ brothers and sisters please meet our pastors starting with the Lord Reigns in All Nations Ministry Founding Pastor, Senior Pastor Rico Gonzalez. We have the Senior Pastor of Lorian Ministry. Let's meet Senior Pastor Lalen Reblando. Please also meet the Associate Pastor of Lorian Ministry, Pastor John Nilvic Valentino, Pastor Chris John Taro, Resident Pastor of Lorian Dubai Chapter, Pastor Romain Posadas, of Lorian Dubai Chapter. Pastor Ninita Esteban, Resident Pastor, Lorian Sharjah Chapter. Pastor Doris Arandela of Lorian Sharjah Chapter. Pastor Joseph Tan, Resident Pastor, Lorian Ajman. Pastor Crispina Tan, Pastor of Lorian Ajman. Brothers and sisters in Christ, every believer must be a worker of God. As the Bible says on Luke chapter 1 verse 74, we have been rescued from our enemies so we can serve God without fear. While we understand that there are many ways to serve God every day, but serving God in a more intimate way can make your journey as His followers more fulfilling. Having said that, we would like to encourage that Christian believer in you. Not just to worship God regularly, but to offer more of what you have for God's glory. How? Well, here's the good news. You can serve God more closely by devoting your time, talent, or skills through our ministry. Let me walk you through the ministries that we have in our church and see where God is calling you to channel your blessings. As Jesus expected his followers to fast, and God rewards fasting, we have the prayer and fasting ministry. And you are very much welcome here, for we believe that a prayerful church is a powerful church. Next, we have the missions ministry, who reaches out to places to share God's word. Since God is the fountain of sending love. We also have the speed ministry or the evangelism ministry who embodies our mission and that is it is our call to go and make disciples. Also we have the finance ministry who is in charge of monitoring our church finances. Speaking of finances, let us pray that we may be faithful stewards in the things that we have been entrusted with. For our brothers who are married and want to spend their energy in empowering their manhood or fatherhood for God, we have the Eagles Ministry, which stands for Empowered Anointed Godly Leaders and Saints. For married women in our church, we also have the Wings Ministry, or the Women in God's Service. This is the ministry for women looking for hope and inspiration. Together, we will learn to build a flourishing, Christ-focused women's ministry. 
for our brothers and sisters who are single, we have the SALT ministry, or the Singles Abiding in Light of Truth. And of course, we have the Kids Ministry, who keeps the youth of our church develop a more open relationship with God in this contemporary world. If you have a love for music, we have Praise and Worship Ministry for you. You may join our Hamic Ministry for honoring God in music and making it glorious, where you can sing your love for God for the world to hear. Also, under Praise and Worship Ministry, we have the Tambourine Ministry, a ministry dedicated to our members who plays tambourine instrument that brings swirls of shine during our worship service. We also have members under Media Ministry, who is in charge of our church's social media and other media platforms. We also have brothers and sisters who are in charge of coordinating the schedule and details of our services, and they are the worship coordinators. Of course, we are familiar with our fellow Christians who greets and leads us to our seats during fellowship. We have the ushering ministry. We also have the transport ministry who takes care of our church's transportation needs. Lastly, we have the events ministry who is assigned in taking charge of our church events and activities all year long. As we go through the day, let us seek God's voice on how He wants to use our commitment to Him and everything else that we have in making His plans possible. Joining our ministry will not only keep you closer to God, but is indeed very rewarding. Use your gift to serve God. Share the work of your hands and serve others with love. Be an instrument of God's love the best way you can. And if this is you today, please let us know. We would love to hear from you. Thank you and God bless us all. Thank you for joining us today at Lorian. We are so grateful we could worship together in spirit and in truth. Let's see each other next week and we can't wait to gather with you again. As we leave today, we pray Ephesians chapter 3 verses 20 to 21 over you today and this week. Now all glory to God, who is able through His mighty power to work within us, to accomplish indefinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to Him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Make it a great week, brothers and sisters, and have a blessed day.